Crucible prep guide and options spreadsheet and other stuff as well. Hello everybody, hope you're doing well and welcome back to a brand new video. Before going anywhere, and of course people are going to jump to the link in the description, please support creators that take their time to create this stuff. As someone over the last 24 hours has like given up a lot of time to do these things, not just myself, but other creators and people that have gone out of the way to create spreadsheets, please just give them a bit of positivity, a bit of a, you know, just thanks. And as well, on their videos, on their creations, give them a like, send them a tip if you want. But yeah, just make sure to do that. Just because I know over the, as I said, the amount of hours that have been invested into something like this. So yeah, please do that. But we've got to get into the video and also go over the spreadsheet uh, to explain our workings and stuff like that. As you know, the Crucible will drop and has got the bosses of Act 7 as being the main bosses we're going to go against. And it's not going to be straightforward to say, hey, uh, I'm going to try and do my, my guide based on the legendary and normal difficulty. The spreadsheet is a work in progress. Uh, on the bottom of the sheet, it is, uh, it's got multiple tabs. So right at the very bottom there, you can see at the bottom of the screen, uh, which probably got to get better into shot. I and mean, we will do that to go over some of the options. You can see boss prep encounters, setup example, normal guide, legendary guide. It's a work in progress. I will be adding a top 10 tips. And as well, um, yeah, I'll be going over in more detail, like setup example, uh, which, you know, just for relevance, is just going to be a lot of me going, well, look, if you've got the seven star, six star options, because I think Kabam, I'm pretty certain Kabam's. Command John said in the live stream is if you've got say a seven star version and a six star version you can switch between the seven star and six star version so say for whatever reason I want to use my uh, six star Shuri uh, and my seven star Shuri in one of many fights down the way so it's like okay well I can do that so I can go okay well I'll take uh, I'll give you an actual example against the green goblin fight I want to use a seven star warlock against the hit monkey fight, I want to use a six star version of Warlock. So that's what I'm talking about. It gives you an idea and a separation to go, well, I don't completely lose one, I can use another one down the line. And there will be more I'll need to go over that when it comes to top tips, uh, which hopefully will be out later today. But there is a superior Iron Man uh, buff that I really want to cover. Uh, so we'll maybe do that as a second video after the MCN tomorrow. And I'll put the MCN out early. Maybe. We'll have to see uh, what uh, goes down. Before I go anywhere, I've got to give a th uh, thanks to or shout out to, I think it was like a Bobby and the Alliance that uh, that put together some info, uh, just a little bit of info, and, and then I've added a load of options. What I've tried to do is provide as many options as I can think of, and of course I'll have to do a round two of this. When it comes to prep, you will know what you've got in your roster as to what you'll be able to take into these particular fights. It's so specific because you'll have to rank up champions to be as strong as possible, but also you'll be swapping them out from fight to fight. And the biggest thing will be the risk factor. You will have to make sure you're making the correct decisions when you're putting in a new champion uh, it, because you have to switch out. So making clear-cut decisions of who you're facing off against is going to be so darn important. And future prepping is going to be such a scary thing, but also hopefully a rewarding thing for you, especially as you go from fight to fight and go, okay, well, that's good. I can use that. Uh, the other issue is easy easiness. Like, how easy is it going to be? It's going to be a much more easier in normal difficulty as normal difficulty, you will play out something like this. So I've set out the spreadsheet, uh, more so the prep area, the prep and the prep and counter section, which you can see on the screen uh, right now, is first of all set up for how it would likely be for normal difficulty. And of course, I've added more things like, you know, the, the 7.3 Kang boss and 7.4.6 Kang boss, some info uh, there. I need to do something for the Gwen Master, but it's something that I want to test out some theories first before putting together a full idea of of, of that but that's really about you uh, dealing with the plot armor and how that equates to you being able to do damage Gwen Master for me is one of the worst ones 
if the champion has inverted controls, I kind of would elect to using Juggernaut, especially if the champion is very the, the basic level of things as well. But anyway, the various different paths for those doing normal are going to be easier because your choice is not so suppressed. And suppressed in the sense that if you go and do the legendary difficulty, you'll have to do 34 and 32 fights, which means that you can only use one particular champion once or twice if you've got a six star and seven star version. Maybe you're using ascended five star version, so you may have three versions, but let's kind of face it, you'll likely only want to use champions that are higher spec, which points to a six star rank five or a seven star rank two champion based on damage mitigation and just the fact that you want to do damage and that you don't, you know, you, you want to do damage and the others, what well, the other lower rar rarity aren't going to do much damage, are they? So the implications are prep is key, using champions once is key, and it's like, right, well, if I use Human Torch, because Human Torch, Nick Fury, Magneto were used quite extensively in Act 7 you'll probably want to save them for either your weakest fights, where the champion's going to excel, or maybe your strongest fights. Depends on how your preference is uh, with it. And of course, that's one of the big implications from all of this. Preparation, planning, and knowledge is key. That's what Kabam said. So in the guide I've put together, it's all about preparation. Preparation is key. Preparation helps planning and helps your knowledge, and as well, hopefully, it helps you out but you will need to rank up champions and you will need to rank up champions that are going to help you out. For me, looking at my roster, I think I'm going to be fine. But there are certain fights I'm going to have to use alternatives to Magneto and Human Torch, which are two really big and had been very big champions that are used in Act 7. So I need to look at alternatives to Human Torch. I need to look at my roster and I say to you as well, Look at your roster and further plan, future plan even, where you can take a certain champion, bring them up in rank and go, that could be good for me. Seven star version or six star version, have the double. As I said, I may be using double Warlock. I've also got some of these Deathlesses. So I've got Deathless King Groot. We've got Deathless Guillotine. So those could be beneficial for this. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. But also, you must remember that you can run different quests. If you do get stuck in Crucible because it's difficult, then at least what you can do is leave your champions in there. Go rank up some because you kind of feel like, right, future on, I might need one of these champions I've got in my roster. Or, as well, go and pick up some revives and health potions uh, from different areas of the game. And units as well to help you out with your endeavours. I will try to add more champions to these counters and options notes, but uh, of course there's such an extensive piece of work to try and get all of this info in, and I feel I only scratched the surface with options, especially as Act 7 content has been in several years in the past. But the approach for this, I definitely feel that you should look at, is creating a list, and I will try and have this on the spreadsheet so you can make a copy please make a copy uh, don't kind of like try and change it uh, but yeah making a copy and taking it as your own and then looking at the options and going right well for example on path one of normal uh, you can go and take well i'll take uh, nick fury which i've put as nicky fury but i'll just change that to be nick fury uh, you take uh, shuri you take um you know you might have sunspot against uh, rhino you might have Warlock against Green God, but you'll take these champions and put them into a list. And that particular list will guide you in your who you're taking attack. There may be other suggestions we can add to that down the line, and that's what I'll try and do. I'll try and do a part two when normal's out and when legendary is out, and I can have a go at both of them and go, okay, well, this works for this, this was fine, this didn't work, and, and obviously make those uh, educated changes and decisions uh, at the same time. But make sure you do that. Like, I've put together a rough list of champions I could be using for my legendary path, and I'll try and set something out for normal as well. But uh, yes, very much good luck to you in doing the Crucible. You don't have to rush to do this first on, uh, first on release, but what you can do is at least prep 
figure out some of the champions that work well against some of the various Act 7 options, go and check out some of the big bad bosses that are annoying, and Caban went, oh, well, I'll just throw these in. Although I do actually like going up against um, uh, Superior Iron Man. Uh, sorry, super is Superior Iron Man? No, it's not Superior Iron Man. It's That's the champion that's uh, today uh, buff. Superior Kang and Standard Kang, uh, two of my favourite Act 7 fights and boss fights. Uh, less so much with uh, Gwen Master, but that's something for another day. Uh, and yeah, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. As I said, support those creators that spent the time to kind of do things like this and create things like this, as it has taken a lot of work. And uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. We've got a busy week covering a lot of stuff, not just Crucible, but also the reunion event as well. So it's a very busy time for myself, for M, and the community as well. So thanks for watching. Check out some other content. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.